YouTube and welcome to Retro Buyer's Guide, a show where I talk about retro games, price trends for retro games, and most importantly, help you decide whether or not you want to add it to your collection. I'm your host Mike and I've been a retro game collector for about five years. In that time I've learned a lot and I want to share my personal experience with you as well as help uh, some of the newer collectors avoid the pitfalls that come along with the hobby. So uh, for the first episode I want to talk about a game that uh, I got really early on in my collection and that is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis. So before we get into the game, I think it's important to acknowledge the two camps as far as Michael Jackson goes. There are those of us who were born early enough in the 80s to remember how badass Michael Jackson was. It was during that decade that he released one of the most classic albums of all time, Thriller, cementing his place in music history as the king of pop. And then there are those of us who only remember the MJ of the 90s, the one accused of child molestation and just generally being creepy. Obviously, I'm in the first group. With that being said, I'm probably going to be a little biased during this review. Now let's play some Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And you know what? If we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. There we go. Now it's no secret that Michael Jackson was a fan of video games, and he made several contributions to the gaming world, including allegedly the music to Sonic the Hedgehog 3. But today we're going to concentrate on Moonwalker. Now two different versions of Moonwalker were released, including an arcade game that's completely different from the Genesis and Master System home console versions, but we're going to concentrate on the Genesis one today. So let's check this out. You go around playing as Michael Jackson, saving kids, I know, I know, we'll get into that in just a second, and you use loosely dance moves to beat up bad guys. Sparkles fly out of your feet, you can also moonwalk, it does absolutely nothing, but it's cool. And most of the game you spend walking around just rescuing kidnapped kids from the evil Mr. Big. Okay, look, this was made before all those allegations were made. It was fairly innocent for the time, so just keep that in mind. Moving on. Visually, the game resembles the Shinobi series. And as a matter of fact, I believe some of the team members that worked on this game went on to actually work on the Shinobi series. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you are going to walk around beating up bad guys. And eventually, when you rescue all the kids, Bubbles jumps on your shoulder and points you to the direction of the boss. Now, I don't know why Bubbles was included in this game. I can only guess that Michael Jackson himself had something to do with that decision. But um, once you get to the boss, he says, ha ha ha, you'll never catch me, even though I'm right next to you, I totally caught you. You end up usually fighting a bunch of bad guys. Now here, I'm going to use my special move, which makes all of the bad guys inexplicably do a choreographed dance and then just die, which is amazing. I mean, how could you not love that? That is so great. Um, usually you got to beat up, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 of them, throw your fedora, rescue the last kid, and you're on to the next stage. So what do you think about that, Mike? <laughs> it's so awesome. All right, moving into stage two one. This stage takes place on the street, and um, let me just get this out of the way, some of the negatives. So this game is super repetitive. A lot of it, you know, looks the same. The bad guys you're fighting are going to be the same. Uh, the mission's the same. You're pretty much going around each stage, you know, rescuing kids and listening to digitized Michael Jackson songs. Not that that's a bad thing, but, you know, if you're looking for variety, this probably isn't the best game for that. Honestly, what this game has going for it is Michael Jackson's music. Uh, even if it is digitized on what many people consider to be the inferior Genesis sound chip, it still sounds amazing. And I think that speaks volumes about how great Michael Jackson's music was and, and is today. Um, also, when Jackson dies, he turns into a sparkle. Did you know that? There he goes. I know a lot of people are probably watching this video and they're thinking to themselves, wow, this game just doesn't look that great or that fun or even, you know, that impressive. But what I can say in the game's defense is it really doesn't feel like a chore going through playing it. I mean, you actually feel kind of powerful even if you are playing as Michael Jackson, which I know sounds completely ridiculous, but it is fun in its own way. Now, check this out. The dog actually does a choreographed dance with Jackson. I, I just think that's adorable. Anyway, the great thing is, is if you don't want to play this game at all, you can just go straight into the options menu and listen to all those awesome digitized Jackson tunes like Another Part of Me, Billie Jean, and of course Smooth Criminal and Beat It. 
So during the early 2000s, this game could be had easily for 15 to 20 bucks. But after Michael Jackson's death in 2009, the prices for this game have been slowly trending upwards. You know, today a box copy will run you closer to about 40 or 50 bucks, with a loose card coming in somewhere between 20 or 30. So is it worth it? Well, again, I think a lot of that depends on how nostalgic you are for this game. It's not a particularly brilliant game on its own, but being able to play as Michael Jackson as well as listen to his music definitely adds to the charm. And if you fall in that first group I mentioned, I think you're probably more than likely to want a copy of Moonwalker and seek it out. It's not particularly rare, but it's not super common either. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode one. Please leave me comments or suggestions for future episodes. If there's a game you really want to see, let me know and I'll try to work it into an episode in the future. Until then, happy collecting!